today is the day after Christmas. It's about um, 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's 9.30 at night. We got home just a bit ago. It was Caleb's birthday party today. I wanted to vlog, but I left my camera, so I didn't vlog any of that. I am actually, let me show you. I'm actually warming up some leftover food. If you watched yesterday's vlog, if you watched my Christmas vlog, then you saw that, I gotta stir this up a little bit, I cooked a feast for um, my family. And I am just reheating some of my food. So, I did not um, vlog, this is falling off the plate, I did not vlog um, the final result yesterday just because I was so tired and so busy. But, Everything was made from scratch. I made macaroni. I have turkey and gravy. I have ham, mashed potatoes and gravy. I have a green bean casserole and a cornbread casserole. I also made cabbage, collard greens. Um, I made a sweet potato casserole, deviled eggs, um, all kinds of stuff. I just didn't have enough room on my plate. I'm not going to eat all this food, so don't think I'm like some big fat ass pig. I always do this. I have to get a little bit of everything in the amount that will fit on the plate. <laughs> and I just kind of pick at each, um, sorry, my nose is itching. I just kind of pick at each item. So I know it's kind of late, but I've only eaten once today and I'm really hungry. And I know this is really heavy to go to bed on, but what do you do? When you're hungry, you're hungry. And whatever. So, and it's Christmas. Ooh. So, anyway, I'll see you later. I'm about to grub. Get a minute, then. We'll let you go home. Hey. Hey, booger. Look at me. Open your eyes and look at mommy. <laughs> let her put some gauze in your mouth. Okay, open, babe. All right, bite down. He can't swallow that, right? There you go. Okay. We make them big enough <laughs> that they can. Just put like when you change it, two or three of them. Okay. So, yeah. Just roll them up. Have them bite down good. If you want to go home, you have to wake up. Open your eyes. You want to stay here all day? Huh? Say what? <laughs> done with us, huh? I'm gonna get you unhooked, okay? What was that finger for? Did that mean wait a minute? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, we got Gary's teeth. <laughs> Go ahead and you can cut it and eat it with a fork. Okay. You know, back here. As long as he's not biting it. You can't feel your leg? Okay. Can you lift it up? <laughs> it's awful heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be heavy, huh? You have elephant legs. You didn't know that? You turned into an elephant. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Mm. I know you're ready to go home and go to bed, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. You think you're going to be able to play that game when you get home? <laughs> Maybe after a while. Well, keep your eyes open for us and we'll we'll get you all ready and you can go home, okay? Mm -hmm. you got to keep your eyes open, okay? He asked me before we got here, he said, am I going to be saying funny stuff? I said, I don't know. We'll just Some, tape it and see. Sometimes. If you, <laughs> everybody. See if, you, see if you say anything funny. Mm -hmm. Make sure you bite on that, okay? I know you can't feel it, but you got bite on it. Yeah, that's why we say huh? also don't change the galls, yeah. but every hour. Just okay. Mm -hmm. You do it too frequently, they don't huh? talk well. You want them to come out? You want what, what to come, come out? out? The gauze? Mm -hmm. No? No, you, the teeth? The gauze? This stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta keep it in there for a little bit, though. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's gauze. It stops the bleeding. That's why we want you to bite on it. Bite on it good for an bite hour. Bite hard. Okay? And then maybe you won't have to put any more in. So no more than once an hour. Like, right. Okay. I mean, and as soon as you see, if it's not saturated, just leave it out. Oh, just leave it. Okay. Just pink or white on there. You need to go. Huh? Those are your teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. gone. We took them out. 
Mom's got them in we the bag. We got them. I've saved them in a bag for you. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can see them later. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. Or you want to spend the night? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All you right. Swing your legs over. We'll help you get in the chair, okay? Hey. <laughs> Just sit for a second. I'll be careful. Don't jump up. Okay. Foot, okay. Then stand up like a stick man you with your stiff, your stiff legs. legs. Cause you feel you like walk you over walk. here. But you can't. See how yeah, you there you go. All right. <laughs> you got it. Good job. All right, Bob. Hey, Gary. Gary. Uh, you ready to go home? Uh, don't swallow that gauze, okay? Don't lean your head back. Sit your head up straight. Can you sit your head up straight? Huh? <laughs> Simon! <laughs> So Don't swallow gone. that, guys. She said to bite on it. Can you bite on it a little bit so it won't bleed? <laughs> yeah. I'm moving. Can you bite it? Yeah. Can you bite the gauze a little bit? Yeah. Huh? No, like, okay, just don't said bite. He is. Oh, okay, don't bite it too hard, okay? Ready to go home? Jerick! <laughs> you ready to go home? Okay. So what'd you think? What'd you think of um, your visit today at the dentist? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. You felt sleepy. You're not gonna be able to talk with that thing. You felt sleepy? That's it? You just felt sleepy? Did you did it hurt when they did it? Your IV hurt? Yeah. A little bit, right? Yeah, it's not so bad. Can you do your nose? Oh, your nose ain't numb. Okay. <laughs> don't take your gauze out, okay? It's got a lot of blood on it. I don't want you to get it on the, on the seat. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The gauze in your mouth, it's got blood on it. Don't take it out. Yeah. Will it hurt? Yeah, when we get home, I'll check it. She said, I'm only allowed to change it once per hour. Well, you got more? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're cool with that? No. Give me a thumbs up then. No, not that. Up. Thumbs up. <laughs> That's down. You don't care? You don't want to? Okay. Bye. He got scared. The cut, the top of your mouth. So, you can't bite anything for a few days. You're not allowed to use your front teeth at all. They said to stay away, keep you, anything away from the middle of your mouth. So, you have to chew with only your back teeth. When you're able to chew. Like a horse. Huh? You don't wanna? How long? How long? How long? Until, um, well, they said you need to chew with your front teeth for at least four or five days. They want you to kind of stay away from that area because they don't want you to bust the stitches and get dry socket. Okay. So, in the previous clips, y'all are probably wondering what is going on. Gary just had oral surgery today. They had to um, cut four of his teeth out. So they took two off the bottom in the back, and then he had two extra teeth in the top middle. So um, they had to cut those out. They had to go a little bit further with the incision, so they had to cut like the top part of his mouth um, to get those teeth, but he's doing all right. He's still loopy. Gary, <laughs> hey son, press down on the gauze, okay? Bite it. Try to bite the gauze. Okay, because the, it they're bleeding. Okay, you need to bite down on it so it stop the bleeding. Okay. So yeah, he's still feeling the anesthesia. He'll probably be like that for several hours. I don't think it tastes good. No, it doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna um, grab something to eat for the rest of us and swing by the pharmacy, pick up his medicine, picked up, pick up. What? You're hungry? 
I'll make you. I'll give you some applesauce. You want something to drink? Okay. When we get home, I'll give you a drink. You can't drink through a straw, though. Okay. You have to drink because you'll get dry socket. You don't want to get that. You have blood clots right now in your gums, and if you drink through a straw, you could pull those out, and that's what causes dry socket, and that's very, very, very painful. You don't want to have that happen, okay? Mom, can huh? I see what I'm doing now? Yes, but give me a second. Okay. Up. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold, I, hold Heidi's arm. I know, but I want you to hold her arm so you don't fall. Because you're... Okay. Don't fall, Gary. Dang it. Did he do it? Go sit down on the couch. Hey, booger. So we just got home. We just changed Gary's guys. Can you feel anything at all yet? Yeah. Where? Just point in your cheeks. You just keep that gauze there like that, okay? And I'll give you some more water when we change the next gauze, okay? Okay? Okay. Alright. Hey guys, so today is the day after Gary's surgery. Um, we didn't vlog. Hold on, Sophie. Hey, can you buy me a caramel Okay. Yes, hang on. We didn't vlog that much oh, yesterday because, yeah, um, we ended up having to take Gary to the hospital. Actually, rescue came and picked him up. His mouth would not stop bleeding, and he was swallowing a lot of blood, and he got really, really ill um, and just really pale and just sick and nauseous and dizzy. So today is the day after his surgery. So let's, um, Gary, let me see how, if you look at his mouth, it's really, really swollen, especially like around the top lip and nose, like cheek area, he's pretty swollen. Can you tell everybody how you're feeling? Can you go like this at all? So you could see they removed, um, put your head up, like open. They cut the top of his mouth, like the roof of his mouth. So he's been in a lot of pain. He's on coating um, for pain and Motrin. So that is what I've been dealing with. Um, it's quite late, so I'm about to put the kids to bed because there is school on Monday. It's Friday right now. There's school Monday, so I don't really want them staying up really, really late. I might let him stay home Monday. It just all depends um, how much of the stitches have dissolved. Um, they said four to five days um, before like the soreness starts to ease up a little bit. He's still right now, obviously, if you cut the roof of your mouth like that, it's going to hurt really bad. So, trying to eat and brush his teeth is, is a major challenge. Um, my brother took us out and got him some mashed potatoes for dinner tonight. So, he doesn't have to eat applesauce and pudding or oatmeal again today. Because he's had plenty of that and he's just hungry but he can't eat. Because they also, so they cut two out of the front top. Those were extra teeth that he had. They weren't supposed to be there. So if you saw in the clip um, that I just showed you, he um, has a gap in the middle now because they removed those two extra teeth. So he's he's meet, we're meeting with an orthodontist to um, go over our options as far as braces and such. But he also got two of his back teeth cut out, one on each side on the bottom. So he had four teeth cut out yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and put these kids to bed and I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all are the shit and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye bye. Not Say good night. Okay, wait. Not me trying, Say good night. Let me hold it, please. Let me hold it. You got to turn it around. Okay, hold it like this so they can see his face. Like, okay, stop can. moving. Stop moving. Hold it just like that. Yeah. Alright, talk. Talk. Look at my game. Uh, you got it for Christmas. Say it's the Kindle Fire it's HD6. Fire. And this is really bad. I'm sorry, everybody, but we gotta go. There's gonna be a little bottle. And here's the Christmas tree, here's the little area. Also, baby.
So this is today, and let's go see you. Oh no, you can't see in here. <gasps> He's little Jewett. He's yeah. trying to catch something. What the hell? He's like, whoa! It keeps scaring me soon, but it's going to come out my room. So, I really need it. Bloom. Here's the one I Okay, now. Hey, hey. You so. Now, see, you can't do that with this. Oh, oh, mommy! 